JustAZ.com Productions with JustAZ Aquatics Methods for Testing the Water Quality in Your Aquariums Part 1 Using a Dip and Read Electronic Tester Hello. Whether you have a pond, a tropical fish tank, or a reef aqua system, the quality of water is important to the health of your livestock. Water quality in your tank is a balance of chemical and biological content. This includes pH, salinity, ammonia, nitrate, and calcium levels, among others. Typically, there are several different ways to test the quality of water in your tanks. and We are going to show you three different methods in this series of videos. The methods we will be showing you will be electronic testing, chemical testing, and mechanical testing. To start out, we are going to test the pH of the water in one of our freshwater tanks. We are going to begin by removing a little water from this tank. I prefer to remove some water from the tank for testing rather than test directly into the tank. This prevents cross-contamination between tanks. To measure the pH, I am using a dip and read electronic tester designed specifically for measuring pH levels. We start with by removing the cap and we turn the unit on. And we place it in the water. As we can see the reading is starting out at 9.2 and we leave it in the water and we watch the digital read. You can also get electronic testers to perform other tests such as salinity, nitrate, and calcium testing. This type of tester gives you a digital readout which is more accurate than chemical testers which rely on your ability to match colors accurately. Some electronic testers use probes permanently stationed in the tank. These testers can be linked to your computer or mobile device and automatically alert you to any changes in specific content levels in your tank. The disadvantage of these electronic testers is cost. A complete set of probes designed to measure a spectrum of levels in your tank could cost as much as $1,000, and that's just for one tank. The dip and read electronic testers could cost up to $100 each, are a little pricey, but each tester can be used over many tanks and last for many years if properly cared for. As you can see, the readout has stabilized at 8.1 pH level in my freshwater tank is 8.1. Please watch our next two videos in this series for the mechanical and chemical testing methods. You need to test the water quality in your tanks because you need the water content to mirror the livestock's natural environment. Each style of tank has its specific needs. For example, my saltwater coral from Fiji has different requirements than my South American cichlids. You could use a chemical tester for pH, such as litmus strips, but this requires an ongoing cost, where the reader or probes are a one-time cost. When purchasing testing equipment, it's important to look at the specific needs of your livestock and your personal budget to choose the right testing methods for your tanks. Thanks for watching.